Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. We know that Prince Harry isn't the brightest button in the box, but even by his standards, this is dumb. He's come over from America. He's fighting a case in the High Court against the Daily Mirror. He's made claims that they hacked his phone, that they used that information, they published it. He said it's very hurtful, you know, and blah, 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 and all the usual things that uh, idiots like him would say. So he's, he's given there, he's standing in the court, and they've asked him, you know, um, give us an example of this, uh, you know, tell us what particular thing that, you, that made you notice that this had been the case. And he stood and he's admitted that he's actually, he's not aware of any evidence whatsoever that his phone was hacked. And then says that it would be an injustice if he didn't win the case. Does he not understand how the law works? And what, you know, what, what made him bring this case? Somebody's given him legal advice saying, oh, yes, yes, you have a case. There's no evidence, but uh, I think you might have a case because lots of other people are doing it. Let's jump on the bandwagon, you know, and, and do this. Well, he's going to receive a very, very large legal bill on a case now he cannot win. Uh, the Daily Mirror's uh, solicitors will be sitting there rolling in the aisles, rubbing their hands with glee and picking up their latest copy of What Yacht magazine, flicking through and going, yeah, that would be a nice one. They're going to buy with the proceeds of Harry's case. He's an idiot. We're going to have a look at this very quickly. I'm not going to go too deep in it. But, you know, it makes you wonder the thought processes of these people. Here you go. So Prince Harry tells High Court judge he is not aware of any evidence he was hacked by the Mirror, but he insists it would be an injustice if he lost his case against them as he finishes his second day on the stand. Now, if you're not aware of any evidence, you haven't got any evidence to present, why do you take people to court? It's guaranteed, guaranteed to lose. Accusations are cheap. You have to back that up and you have to present evidence. Now, the defendant in this case, the Mirror, they just have to sit there now. They've already won the case. The, there's nothing they have to do. They go, yep, that's fine, we've won. They're now just waiting for the judge to write this off and say, thank you very much. And they throw their bill in to Harry. So whatever it's going to cost him to, to bring this case, he's now also got to pay the fees for the Daily Mirror. And that is going to be very expensive because the Mirror has got some very expensive lawyers and it's been on this for a long time. There is going to be... Uh, a, a major reckoning, put it that way. Uh, the only winners in this case are the lawyers. But anyway, Prince Harry today admitted to a judge, uh, this was obviously not today, uh, this is, I'm reporting like that after the fact here, but he admitted to a judge that he was not aware of any evidence he had been hacked by a tabloid news group. But he said it would be an injustice if he was denied victory in his high court phone hacking case against the publisher of The Mirror. Andrew Green Casey for Mirror Group Newspapers put it to the Prince that he was in the land of total speculation and that there were no phone call records to back up his allegations. And that is why the Mirror is going to win. I'm not saying that the Mirror haven't done shady things. I'm not defending the Mirror. But what I am doing is saying that you don't understand how the law works, do you, Harry? You can't take people to court if you haven't got evidence. Uh, during Harry's second day in the witness box at the, at the Rolls building, Mr Green asked him, are you aware of any evidence that gives any indication whatsoever as to the extent to which you were hacked, if at all? The fifth in line to the throne replied, no, that's part of the reason why I'm here, my lord. So you've got no evidence then. No, I just feel as though I deserve a victory. Now, I know, yes, he is entitled, you know, as I said, but this is just bonkers, isn't it? Uh, the, the case he later said, you presume, you're presumably aware that there's not a single item of call data to your mobile phone at any time from Mirror Group journalists. But Harry, who was far more bullish and confident than on his first faltering day in the witness box, shot back with a claim that the newspaper had destroyed vast amounts of evidence, including by using burner phones, to hush up its wrongdoing, he claims without evidence. Harry appeared close to tears as he finished 
uh, is historic day and a half of answering questions at the court. And during the turbulent final few hours in the witness box, the Duke volunteered details of his chequered love life, including a trip to a strip club. Uh, and we can't stop a man from, you know, enjoying himself. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, but he hit out at hurtful and disturbing reports in the Mirror Group titles about the breakup of his relationship with his first love, Chelsea Davy, and accused the People newspaper of unlawfully accessing their phone records. He can accuse who he likes, but you don't go to court without evidence, mate. Harry, the first senior royal to give courtroom uh, testimony in 132 years, claimed he may have uh, been phone hacked by Mirror uh, newspapers on a daily basis over a period spanning 15 years from when he was a schoolboy at Eton. He claimed it was hard evidence to suggest an incredible amount of suspiciousness. Uh, and that he was hacked on an industrial scale, telling the trial judge, Mr Justice Fancourt, that he would feel some injustice if his claim was not accepted. Well, you're going to be very, very upset and poor at the end of this trial, mate. Harry maintained that the stories in the people about him and Miss Davy were incredibly suspicious because they quoted palace sources at a time when the young couple were being so careful that they never told the palace anything. You don't think that uh, that people don't talk. People know. Everyone knows. Um, and even, but you know, and I'm not saying that that's not true, but even if the mirror did hack your phone, there's no evidence. Harry accused the newspaper of using the attribu uh, attribution palace sources to cover up the true source of the information, which was phone hacking. At one point, Mr Green put it to him. So we're in the land of total speculation about whether this is voicemail interception. The Duke replied, no, not at all. Mr Green asked the Duke if he was aware that the two of Mrs Davies' friends had been disclosing information to the media. Um, he, I highly doubt that, he said. The former soldier also rejected claims in one story that he had loved the army more than Mrs Davy. Uh, and among several terse exchanges with Mr Green, he claimed mirror articles were littered with inaccuracies. Um, well, you can't have it both ways. They can't have, you know, from the horse's mouth from Harry and then littered with inaccuracies as though they were making it up because they didn't know. Uh, anyway, recounting one story alleging Miss Davy blew her top about his boozy visit to a sleazy lap dancing club spearmint rhino. I reject that. You can't call it sleazy. They could sue you for that. You've got to be careful what you say there, mate. Uh, Harry said it is sleazy. Uh, Harry said it was factually incorrect. Actually, that one of the girls they asked to dance naked was a tall, statuesque blonde who bears more than a passing reference to Prince Harry's girlfriend, Chelsea Davy at the time. Adding, I'm just saying, my lord, that's not true. He informed Mr Justice Fancourt, I don't see any quotes from the, I believe, Lithuanian lap dancer who sat on my lap. I know from experience that Lithuanian ladies are rather attractive, so yeah, I don't blame him for looking. Um, I used to work with several Lithuanian ladies, in case anyone was wondering. I didn't, uh, you know habitually travel to Spearmint Rhino to observe them. Uh, in his written witness statement made public on Tuesday, Harry wrote, I don't think Chelsea did go mad about me going there. We did speak about it over the phone, but I promised her that I hadn't had a lap dance. <laughs> he lies. Uh, it is <laughs> Because why not? He's a young man in a, in a strip joint. Of course he can have a lap dance, mate. Um, during his testimony today, Harry recounted an evening in London when a PAP photographer had tried to flee in his car when he and his police protection officers attempted to confront him. He claimed the photographer jumped a red light and drove on the wrong side of the road to get away, endangering, uh, endangering everyone around him. Harry claimed he decided to evade the police. That's a not a normal PAP behaviour. We believe, that, believe, again believe, that there was an illegal device in the car. Not... Um, was sure, observed, seen, no, believed. Uh, the 30-year-old, 38-year-old uh, Duke's evidence was far more uh, assured than during his first day in the witness box when he struggled to, just, to justify his hacking claims. I appear, he appears to still be struggling to justify them. Uh, and he repeatedly seemed unaware that articles he believed were from hacking were actually just follow-ups from other publica uh, publications and the BBC or from uh, official palace statements. And in one case, an interview he had self given. So he's given an interview to the papers, seen it in the papers and went, oh, they must have hacked my phone, forgetting that he gave the interview to the papers. This is the level that you're dealing with with this guy. He is so stupid. He really is absolutely 
dim. He did get a degree in art. It was a third, uh, and the uh, the tutors had to do most of the work for him. Yeah, this is yeah. This is he's not one of he's not one of Britain's towering intellects. Let's put it that way. Uh, pressed further today, he confessed. Oh, pressed further. Yeah, he confessed that he was not aware that a Sunday Mirror story about his split from Miss Davy had actually been broken previously by the news of the World newspaper. And on a story about him openly, openly convorting with a blonde friend at Twickenham, he admitted he was not aware of its contents had come from the Press Association news agency the day before. So, you know, a bit of a summary here. He's saying the Mirror keep hacking his phone, keep hacking his phones. And in actual fact, it's the Mirror were reading articles in other newspapers, reading um, information that's come directly from the palace, or watching, um, watching television where uh, these things are on. Or in at least one case, where he himself has given them the information, willingly, in an interview. Oh dear, Harry, you are an idiot. And you are going to be a ve an idiot with a very, very large um, legal bill. Anyway, I should round off there, but there is no going back from this. Uh, the things he said in that court have guaranteed, absolutely guaranteed, that he will lose. And he'll be able to get on that plane and fly home to his most loving wife and his darling children. Um, and that's assuming, of course, that uh, the American uh, border guards let him in, given he's now admitted to various substances. So it will be interesting to see um, if, first of all, if he um, does get back into America. Uh, and it will be interesting to see if he's going to complain about the size of the massive, massive legal bill he will be presented with. He might have to go running to daddy again, won't he? Deary me, Harry, you're such an idiot. I'm coming up. I think Harry does have a legal case, but not against the Daily Mirror. I think he should sue his legal advisor uh, because anyone who tells you to go and take a high profile case like this uh, against uh, a newspaper that has got some of the best lawyers money can buy, uh, when they have got the, uh, the they've got the receipts, if you like, because they can point to the, the articles in other newspapers. They can point to the interview he gave. They can point to the television show they watched and that you have no evidence whatsoever to back up your claim. And yet your legal advice still tells you, go ahead and sue them. I think at that point you sue your legal advisor. But I'm, I'm pretty sure the legal advisor will have covered himself in such an extent as to make that impossible anyway. But he truly is a moron, isn't he? Uh, I think it's a, a sort of 1100 years of inbreeding has finally caught up with them uh, and that he is uh, the end result. Um, I, I think it's, it's it's just, he's an idiot. I can't get over how, how amazingly dim he truly is. Mind you, when you look who he married, it's no surprise that he's dim. And I wonder, I'm actually thinking about that, how much of this has come from her? Oh, Harry, you've got to sue. You've got to sue. And it's almost as though she's playing him. You know, ha, ha, ha. I'll get this. He'll lose and I can, I can, you know, divorce him and leave him in a right, you know, state or whatever. Uh, because I can't stand her. Um, you know, but it, it's just, just don't, Harry. Just don't. Just give it up, mate. You know, you're, you're not going to win. And you're just going to make yourself look stupid. And of course, now you're washing all your um, laundry in public. Hey ho. Anyway, shall I finish there and wrap come up? Uh, no, I'm already up, aren't I? I should have just finished there. Uh, thank you very much for listening. If you like what you see in here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well. Do not go to court if you haven't got evidence. And goodbye.